and welcome. This is Ruth and today I have four beautiful die sets to show you. I'm going to show you this one first of all which is the Gatefold Shadow Frame Creator die set from Tonic and there are 25 different dies in this one and this makes a shadow frame with the approximate finished size of 148 millimeters by 51 by 79 millimeters which is 5.8 inches by 2 inches by 3.1 and there you are, you can see the beautiful designs that are all inside that one. And then these other three are insert dies. So this was the Wedding Gatefold Shadow Frame insert with 14 dies. This one is the Baby Gatefold Shadow Frame insert, which is 14 dies in there as well. And then the Christmas Gatefold Shadow Frame insert die set, which is 16 dies. So these... Um, all fit with this one but this one has all the dies it needs itself just to make a really really beautiful scene or a couple of scenes here and uh, I think I'll do a second video to follow this up because there's really far far too much to put in one so just at the moment I'm not sure which ones will be in which but you can follow along and check out the second video as well obviously then that's a good time if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you'll be able to see that one when it comes up and see loads more videos if you like to follow along and of course don't forget if you do enjoy it give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment right now back to this one some people have been asking already just before i even get into this if these dies fit with a previous uh, shadow frame set that was available for tonic well i have got one of those here and uh, this is one that I made a while ago with the last shadow frame set and although it has this arch in the front you can see here that this one is much longer and narrower so no unfortunately it doesn't fit in. I'm sure there's some way that it could be adapted but it doesn't fit just straight or directly into that. There you are you can see the difference there. Anyhow I am going to have a look through this one and we'll just get to making something because I'm sure I remember with this one I made a box and then I made some cards and a memory book as well and I'm quite sure there's scope for doing all that with these as well and probably lots more too. So we'll have a quick look at this one. 25 dies as I said here and they are absolutely beautiful and you can see there the fold back part here where this is going to fold forward and then be the gate fold part. So here are the instructions and there's not too many just seven and obviously uh, lots of decoration after that but just seven uh, basic instructions that means it must be pretty simple to put together it also folds not flat but flatter than it would be when it's standing up and uh, I'll measure that when I get it finished just to show you how that looks and there's a little belly band for around that as well so let's have a little look here these dies look really really beautiful and I love scenes like this I love sort of really really peaceful and tranquil things and uh, I really love this so I love the swans and all of that and I am really looking forward to making this up beautiful bulrushes and swans and you can use all of these together you can use the clouds and the bits and pieces you don't have to add them all into one you can sort of mix and match them and then as I was saying earlier with these other dies as well there are de definitely bits and pieces here that you could mix and match through but there are different ways of using this because you can cut out these panels and put them directly onto ordinary 2D cards, they don't have to be definitely always used with uh, this shadow frame creator as well. But they do look beautiful. We've got best wishes here, thinking of you and lots of love and those are debossing sentiments. So they look absolutely beautiful whenever you deboss those into a kind of satin effect card or a mirror card and I'll show you some of those as well. Well I think I will just go and pick out some beautiful card and we'll start to make this. I think the first part of the video then will be showing you how to make up the actual gatefold shadow box itself and then in the later parts or in the second video or whatever I'll show you how to adapt all those little inner inserts and different bits and pieces to make different things with them but if you follow along with this bit you'll be able to see how to make this gatefold part. First of all you'll need to take this die and cut that out once and that gives you this shape here and then you can go ahead and reinforce all those score lines with your little bone folder and there it is that's the the basic shape already for you it's really really easy so you'll find just inside this die I'll move this over and you can see it on my big magnetic sheet here so just inside there you'll see there are 
dies here, so they're plain ones. This is exactly the same on the other side. And then a decorative panel here. And this one doesn't have any outside cutting edges. So you'll find the, the an exact opposite one right over here. So I have cut this one out and the opposite one in blue. And then I have used this and this together in silver. And I've backed one on top of the other. And that has given me these two beautiful panels here. And these are the pieces then that you can just glue on here and do you know already that looks really really beautiful. There's loads of things you could do with these as well but more of that later. Too many ideas and uh, I'll, I'll stick to the basic thing at the minute. Now you'll see this die and you need to cut that out twice. So two of these are going to get attached on this side and two on this side. and you can go ahead and reinforce all those score lines just like this so there'll be a valley fold and then two mountain folds with valley in between and what we'll do we've done that with four of them so I've already joined this one together and on this one then I'm just going to put glue down this little glue tab here and put that directly in underneath there line that up and hold that and that just extends that out a little bit and makes it a little bit longer make sure the glue has grabbed and then I'll set that one aside but what I'm going to do here is glue this glue tab directly on here so you can see there how I lined the fold of that up where the glue tab is right along the fold here and then kept it perfectly flush with the bottom of the card as well. I'll do exactly the same thing with this one then. I'll put glue on here and attach that right in there. Now, I wanted a blue background, a sort of sky background for this part. So I've taken this outer die with the little pinhole edging on it and I'm going to uh, glue the blue piece that I've cut directly on over there and it fits on there, it looks really beautiful but it also serves the purpose of covering up those little glue tabs there too. Next, you'll need to cut this one out four times and those panels then are going to get glued on here so you've got your one, two, three and four uh, of the mountain folds there so you'll cut four of those out and you can decide what colour you want them. I'm going for a little sort of blue and green scene and a wee bit of white as well. So I've cut one out in each of those colours and you can see here these are the little decorative details that can go into the centre of them and you can decide which uh, sort of way you want those and which way you want them layered. But what I've done for mine, you can see here they don't have outside cutting edges. Um, so you'll need to just put them inside your big layer here and to get the, the sort of way you want to cut these out you'll set this one down on your paper face down like this because you obviously you'll need that panel and then you can take this one just this one is really just for placement so if you set that in there and get uh, it sort of lined up exactly where you want to go with it and then we'll take this one that one can go in there and that gives you a better idea of how to centre that. Obviously that would be cutting edge down. And let's just line that up to show you. Then you'll be able to tape this large one down on the outside, this one in the centre and you can remove this one. And what you'll be doing then is taping these two to your, your paper or your card just like this and running that through your die cutting machine and then that gives me this shape. So I've now got this one which I can go ahead and use here. Now that will apply to anything from any of the other sets so I'm just showing you how I've done it for this one but that's what that's where it's going to go and that's just to give you a little idea at the moment. But I'm going to set that one aside just for a minute or two but I thought that was really really lovely with those white clouds uh, against that blue background for the sky there. 
For my next layer then I have used this same placement that I did there and I have cut out the one with the little swans in it. So if you have a little look at this one you can see um, it's cut out the swans and I wanted the water to be blue so I've cut it blue and then the swans are still blue and the car, the um, bulrushes there are blue as well so that's not really the look I'm going for. So I've put a little piece of white card in behind just these pieces here and I've cut the swans and the bulrushes out in white and now I'm just going to fussy cut those out and glue them on but before I glue them on I'm going to colour in the, the bulrushes. I'll leave the swans white and I'll colour those little bulrushes in in green. A little brown tip up at the top. So thought that because these were water lily leaves that have been cut into this that I'd cut a little piece of green just to fit in behind there. So that measures, just check it for you here, that measures two and a half, sorry three centimetres by four and a half and I'm going to glue that just on the back there. Now my next layer then has this one, so it's the same outer die, same placement, and then I have used this one, which has the bulrushes down at the bottom and the tree up here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just add some detail onto this as well, because I think I would like to add a little bit of different green onto the leaves here, just here and there, a little bit of shading, and then I'll put brown onto where the bulrush tops are there as well. I was going to use that as the front layer so I've taken some white 300 GSN card and I've cut it out with this one and then I have used the same placement setting this inside and then I've used just a plain die in there and I've taken the centre out and now you can see it looks like this but because it's the front one then I'm going to decorate it so what I've done is I have used uh, both of the, these dies together Again, I have set this one in just for placement and given myself the size of this for the frame and I've cut that out in blue and that's going to go directly on there. And I have used the same dies yet again but with this one in the centre of it and I've cut that out in silver and I'm going to glue that on top of there. But before I glue it on, then I went ahead with the Thinking of You die and I placed that on here and ran it through my die cutting machine. Just remember whenever you're putting that on check which way around it is because obviously it's very easy just to put that on upside down and when you've gone ahead and um, cut this out and got it looking really well the last thing you want to do is mess it up at the end like that so just a little tip. So I'm going to glue that on there just directly on there and that will just fit perfectly on there and then I'll glue that on here and then we'll come back and add them all into the card. all my panels ready and I'm just going to start from the back and move forwards then gluing on the underside of these tabs onto the top side of the mountain folder and just corresponding on the other side as well and then that way you know that whenever all of these are pressed down that's going to fit exactly inside there so just glue on the underside of the tabs here and here and down onto these two areas here
Doesn't that look really, really beautiful? There's lots and lots of dimension on it, as you can see there. And then it just pops down flat like that. And you can close this over at the front. But I've thought that when it's open like this, I kind of like the white, but I think the blue would be nicer on here as well. So I've just used the same dies that I've used for the background of these ones. And I've cut it out again, just the plain ones this time, in blue. And I'm going to glue those on there. So you'll see that just a little bit whenever it's opened. And I think it'll look really nice. Just finishes it off nicely. This is the die then that you would use for a belly band for around this to hold it closed. And when you cut it out, there are little score lines on it which you just need to burnish. And then this is the little glue tab. And all you need to do is glue that directly onto there. And that's your little band to fit over the little card and it will hold it all closed. So I have taken the same the uh, little this little die and the same little thinking of you and I'm going to glue that on there and then that will hold the whole bit closed. I've opened this up again just to add one little last detail and I'm actually not sure whether I even want it or like it but um, it's this little feature here so you'll find this little die in your set and it cuts out two of these little pieces and whenever you add these tabs on at the side I'll show you another one here that I have cut out uh, for a further project You'll find two little gaps here and those are the gaps that these can fit in and then whenever your card's standing up and the concertina part is opened right up you'll be able to pop those in there and it holds it up straight and keeps those right out to the front just like that so that fits in at the side and holds all that nice and neat together but obviously you don't even need to do that I think it's quite nice like that and you could even put that on first of all and then put this over the top where those little joins are but I'm just going to show you how I've affixed these anyway just make sure that you have those little areas opened properly uh, you can go in with your little pokey tool or whatever and then you'll pop the rounded edge inside the slit there and then just put some glue on this tab here I've done the same with the other three and then you can just Pop that together and hold it right up level with the top of this part and just hold that until the glue grabs and that way you'll get it in the right place. Now as I say I'm not actually too sure whether I even uh, like that on the card. I actually think I prefer it without it but I'm putting it on to show you what that little die is anyhow. And there you are. Well I absolutely love that as I said and I've got to confess to just having another set of dies that I just can't stop making stuff with. So I am going to go ahead and do two videos but I'm going to do a little bit more on this one and I'm going to show you how to use the or how I have used the baby die set. So that's the insert for the baby cards and there are the dies that are in it. This is the little set here and I'll just show you very very quickly through them and then I'll show you what I've done with them. I have gone ahead and done lots of things and Oh, there's so much more I could do. My head's absolutely buzzing, but I have to stop somewhere. So I'm going to do the baby one in this one, and then I'll be straight back with another video because I've actually done lots of die cutting, and I've got quite a bit of another one ready for you as well. So let's have a look here. We've got, uh, obviously this would be best used with the first creator die set, you know, the gatefold one, because the outside edges of all of these pieces here are in that main set that we used to make up this so you'll get the plain die for the back here but you can use this one in it and uh, I have done that I will show you here because I've gone ahead and already cut some out that beautiful cloud effect there is absolutely gorgeous obviously it probably would look really lovely on blue with a blue background and that would be the sky but I just fancy doing it in pink because I was doing a little baby girl card this time and I wanted pinks and I've done some uh, boy, a boy card as well there in a different shape and I'll show you that in a minute. So I have done that. Then we've got these, this beautiful one here with the curtains and the little uh, vet, baby girl that is and socks and a little uh, beautiful li little rocking horse here and then this one with the little stars and the 
this actually belongs to a different one so I'll show you that in a minute or two but there's a beautiful little cot on there and then this is a separate one that lifts out and you can cut that out and pop that onto the background of say this one in here and you would obviously need one of these outside edges for that because it has no outside edges or you can cut it into the card and back some of those paper pieces some of those pieces back in again that doesn't actually belong there it's just there in the die set this one is absolutely gorgeous I will show you that uh, right here so I have got the front for this one already cut out and it has this beautiful uh, mobile up at the top and then this actually cuts out just the white area but you've got this die here which cuts out the solid shape and I have paper pieced that back in there and then we've also got this little die here which pops in behind this one and I've paper pieced that one back in there as you can see and then I have gone ahead and uh, used the pieces that I used for the front of this card to go on here and I've used that in pink so that's going to be the front this time now I used 300 GSM card for all this piece here on that one and on this one I'm just using the uh, texture weave card which is 216 and I think it's fine either would do uh, but I'm just putting two layers on this time I've got this one with the beautiful little vest hanging I think that's I've used that on a different card so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done with this layer and this one and then I've used the baby girl and congratulations on this one as well baby boy is for a different one so let's see what we've done I've got these and I could obviously have just used two, uh, one on each side without going ahead and gluing these in and making this longer. But I did want it to be able to sit up with a bit of dimension. So what I'm going to do is glue my pieces on the second one and the top one and leave these two in between because it just gives that little bit more height. But you could actually go ahead and just leave it uh, with one of those. Now I've cut out this in a deeper pink with the insert with the rocking horse on it and then I've gone ahead with the same uh, rocking horse one and I've cut the outside edge the way I did in some of the others there but I have used one of these uh, outside edges here just to cut the white area around it so I've used this one along with that rocking horse one to get this beautiful shape here. Now I've come back in and I have cut it again in uh, pink, the deeper pink and the paler pink and I paper pasted some of those pieces back on again oh, I think that looks really really cute it's absolutely gorgeous uh, and I took the little heart that was from here and I popped it onto the little baby girl there and it's a really lovely feature so now what I'm going to do is this is the same I've cut this in exactly the same way as I did for the layers that I've used in here and I'm going to glue this one directly on top being very very careful to line this up with this and I'll go ahead and glue that on there. This one then is going to be my back area. So that's going on to the second one here and I'm going to glue these glue tabs right onto the top of that mountain fold and do the same thing on the other side on the second one here and then I'm going to add this one on the top making sure that these are exposed here so that if I want I can add those little uh, tabs in again but I actually don't think I'm going to add them but I'm going to leave that so that uh, you know where they go anyway. I've actually looked at this and I don't even think you need to put those in there I think you could probably just uh, cut those off on the back one and glue that directly on top but I'm going to go with this anyway and uh, you'll see this come together just in a second and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I did go ahead and put the tabs on and then I put the pink panels on here and covered them this time so they look a little bit different from what I did here but it was just to show you two different ways of doing that and the depth that's in that without all of the layers because that's certainly a, another way of using it as well if you don't want so many layers inside you can still do that and then I've made the little belly band so that closes right down again like so got congratulations on there. 
isn't that so cute? <laughs> now, I have gone ahead and made a different card. So I've made a flatter card this time. And here it is. And I really, really love that. So I wanted to show you the two different two panels there and two different panels on here. So I have used the other dies on this one. I've used the one with the little baby grow and the little, uh, there's a little box up on the shelf there. And as you can see, um, I've, I've put that on the front and I didn't want to obscure the little stars that are from the panel in behind. So I just nipped this one off. And feel free, you can do that on any of them. Nip bits and pieces off that you don't want. Um, if this is a, an A6 card and then I've put the panel which I have uh, it's similar to the one on the front here it's just the other different decorative part and I've put that on on top of a piece of silver card and I've attached it to the card front with 3D foam pads and then I've used these two panels as I said so I've cut this one out and then this one with the beautiful little cot and I've used the outside edge this time so I've cut them both with this and then you can see I've used very very fine 3D foam pads so first of all the little cot one was glued directly onto the, the blue panel here and then the next one with little baby grow I took the box off and then you can see in there I've used very very thin strips of 3D foam pads just in between the two to elevate that and give it another little bit of height and I'm really really pleased with the way that one has turned out you can see on the top here, there, uh, just behind my little bow, there's a little um, heart that was cut out and I kept that as well and paper pieced that and put it back straight on to the little baby grow. And it's so beautiful and I used this little ABC, the little blocks, and put them on here on 3D foam pads and I've got baby boy across the bottom. And I just thought that would be a really nice way to show you how to use the card uh, in a different way the dies in a different way to make a different card with it as well so that's all i'm going to do in this video but i have loads of bits and pieces cut out as you probably saw there i brought that in um ready for my next video where i'm going to show you the um wedding and christmas inserts and then i'm going to show you how to make a little memory book from this as well and adapt this die with the concertina piece at the sides of it to make that as well so don't forget to come back and check that one out as well I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is an absolutely fantastic die set, die collection. It all works together so wonderfully well and you could uh, have so many, many different combinations of that. Um, you don't have to have so many layers, you can make flat cards. It's just, it, it's really floating my boat if that's the, the uh, expression. I love it and I'm going to come back with more so thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that and hit the notification bell. You'll see the next one once it comes up. And if you do enjoy it, don't forget to please give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment to let me know that you've enjoyed it. My affiliate links for everything that I've used will be down below in the description. And I really appreciate everybody who uses those as well because it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I get a little commission from that too. And that always helps. Thanks very much again and happy crafting in the meantime. Bye bye.